we want to evaluate the given def integral. First step, we want to recognize which integration formula we'll use in order to integrate. And if it's helpful, we can rewrite this as the integral of one divided by the quantity three x plus four integrated from zero to two with respect to x. So notice how this integral fits the form of the integral of one over u integrated with respect to u, but because our denominator is not just x here, when integrating with respect to x, we'll have to perform u substitution or use a change of variables. So we'll let our denominator of three x plus four be equal to u. So if u is equal to three x plus four, the next step is to find differential u. Differential u is equal to the derivative of three x plus four times dx, which would be three dx. Notice how we don't have a three dx in our integral, so we'll solve this for dx by dividing both sides by three. Notice how we have one third du equals dx. Now we're going to rewrite this in terms of u, but because these limits of integration are for x, not u, for the next step we'll leave the limits of integration off. So we'd have the integral of, again, three x plus four is equal to u, so we have one over u, dx is equal to one third du, so let's factor out the one-third, and then we have du. And now it fits the integration formula perfectly. So we'll find the antiderivative, which would be one-third times natural log absolute value of u, or in our case, natural log absolute value of three x plus four. Now that we have our antiderivative in terms of x, we'll include our limits of integration again, which are from zero to two. So we'd have one-third times the quantity when x is two, we'd have natural log absolute value of six plus four, 10. The absolute value of 10 is 10, so we just have natural log 10. Absolute value minus, when x is zero, we have natural log absolute value of four. The absolute value of four is four, so we have natural log four. Notice here we can combine these two logs using our difference property of logarithms. We can write this as one third natural log of 10 divided by four, of course that simplifies the five halves, so the exact value is one third natural log of five halves. Let's also get our decimal approximation. We have one third natural log five halves, which would be approximately zero point three zero five four. So we have both the exact value and the decimal approximation. Now a couple more things I do want to mention here. Our integrand function f of x equals one divided by the quantity three x plus four is non-negative on the closed interval from zero to two, which is graphed here, and therefore this def integral does give us the area under this curve and above the x-axis on this closed interval. And then finally, because we have a def integral, we can check our answer on the graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So we press math, press the down arrow, to I think it's option nine, function integration. Press enter. We first enter the limits of integration, which is from zero to two. So zero, right arrow, two, right arrow. And now we enter the integrand function, which is one divided by, in parentheses, three x plus four. Close parenthesis, right arrow. We're integrating with respect to x, so we enter x and enter, which does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.